3,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for this. And for all the new and veteran Vex IQ competitors, we put together every popular robot since the start of the season. And by the way, the Cap Pins is partnering with ICC to bring you guys our first competition held in Milpitas, California. And it's going to be in December. So check out the pinned comment for more info. So we're going to start with Stemstar V0.1, a modded version of Ben Lippert's Pinhead. So we actually covered this in one of our very first mix and match videos, and it's a very simple robot. There's no pneumatics required. Basically, it's an upwards intake using these balloon wheels, and an open space, which is the height of the pin, around the height of the pin, makes it easy to drive directly into the pin and have it stack up. Many people will have some issue tuning the compression, so you can have rubber bands and wrap it around the wheel to increase its diameter. This video by AO Academy from Hong Kong shows how it works really well. Now let's cover the pros and cons. Speaking from early mid season, I think this robot is really good for beginner teams as it's simple to build, requires no pneumatics, and does not require a lot of pieces. However, it cannot score on beams and it can only score one stack at a time which really limits its max score. Also, it's really wide, and since they can only intake from the very middle, some teams find it hard to get around the field as there are a lot of pins which are close together. Remember that this first robot was made by Ben Lipper, modified by Stemstar, and tuned by AL Academy. Next, let's look at the conveyor. Some of the early conveyor designs were shared in our Discord server, and I'm pretty sure the original was by Land Land Robotics with over 74,000 views. A conveyor robot works by using tank tread chain and flaps or traction links to pull the pin into the robot and then push it upwards. Once it gets to the maximum height, it leaves the conveyor and drops into a chamber which holds the stack. Gravity helps stack the pins on top of each other. Then, the chamber acts as a claw and opens up to place the stack wherever you want. Some teams also opt for a higher chamber so that it can clear the height of the triangle goal, allowing you to get that 10 point bonus for matching colored goals. The conveyor is a mid to high difficulty robot. I would not recommend these for new teams as they are pretty hard to tune and to get consistent. If you want to make it stack easily, make sure the pin enters your conveyor upside down so that it falls easily into the chamber. Now, let's go over pros and cons. This robot is really driver friendly and it only requires the intake and the driving, which makes controlling the robot during a match really easy. It can also be really light and it's pretty simple overall. To make it efficient, you may need to use pneumatics for the chamber, so it is a disadvantage to some teams. However, Carl from our Discord server also managed to make him motor powered by using a 4 bar kind of door instead of an open and closed claw. You can also only stack one stack at a time and doesn't have a lot of room for moving around the field, since it's very long. Now, let's talk about tuning. Since its first appearance, many teams have changed the very front of the intake. One big issue that many teams encounter is that the front is a circle shape, so it's really hard to get the pin picked up. Teams like Chewbacca 7163B took inspiration from a China team and changed the very front to a balloon wheel, the same one used for a pin head. This is slightly bigger than the sprocket and the diameter of the chain, and it's perfectly sized for the pin. And combined with its griffy material, it allows for it to grab the pin and pull it in easily. Once it's up in the intake, then the conveyor can move it without any problem. Other teams have also lengthened their shaft for the bottom sprocket and added a custom wheel above it, doing the same as the balloon wheel. This combination uses yet another sprocket, but this time wrapped in chain to create a perfect circle, and then wrapped in rubber bands to give it the grippy effect. Team Super Science also improved on the wheel modification by using even bigger wheels, and some teams also added a movable compression hood at the very top of the robot to push the pins down faster and keep it upright. You can watch our robot ratings video here to learn more. Last, but in my opinion, the best, the 180 mech. Quick history of the 180 mech. It originated after 3030J's RI3D design, where they pioneered the flip mechanism, flipping the pin around to score on the beam, which was clamped on the back of their robot. We actually also made a video about this, where I talked about my visions for the future of this design. And about a week later, Magic Kid posted a video showcasing an improved version of the 180 mech, having a double claw. They also had a beam lift, allowing you to make a cactus, which is three stacks connected to a beam. A cactus on the ground is worth 91 points. Since then, there have been many improvements made to it, but we'll focus on just the 180 mech. This robot is really simple, yet does everything in the game. The claw in the front is able to pick up two pins at once, one on each side, making it really efficient. The entire claw is rotatable, allowing it to make normal two or three colored stacks. However, rotating it fully around allows the pin to flip and score into the holes of the beam on the sides. 
Remember that each stack connected to a beam is worth an extra 10 points, and the beam also acts as a wild card, turning your two stack into a three colored stack. After you're done with the stacks above the beam, then you can make a normal two colored stack on the ground. Then teams will raise the beam with their lift, turn around, and lower the lift to drop the beam onto the two colored stack, creating a full 91 point cactus. This has by far been the most popular design we've seen so far, and most likely every robot in the future will have a similar base concept with the flip. Let's talk about pros and cons. This robot is extremely versatile and can do everything. It can score incredibly fast and well, and is also very light, meaning that a simple two-motor drive base will do. This is very different from previous games which required complex motor sharing mechanisms that not every team could do. However, this robot does require pneumatics for the clamp and claws, which is a big step after smaller, especially home teams, which you might not be able to afford it. It's also really hard to drive since you're controlling actually five different controls. Your drive base, claws, the 180 rotation, the beam lift, and the beam clamp. Drivers can easily get overloaded with their tasks in a match. Some teams will go for macros, which use sensors and code to make their driver's life easier. However, it is still much more driver dependent than a, for example, conveyor robot. The tuning, however, is really simple. Just make sure that your spacing on the beam and claw are correct for the flip, which if you need any help, feel free to join our Discord server in the description and ask for help in the hashtag help channel where we have over a thousand active members who give their insight. In this video, we only covered three robots. Since July, there have been over four more unique designs, some of which we have never shared on our channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And if you get over 70 likes on this video, we'll do a part two showing off some of the robots that we think might get over 300 and possibly even 400 points in the future, while being even more driver friendly. Overall, we think that the 180 mechanism robot is the best. For people without access to pneumatics, the conveyor robot with Carl's gate design is definitely the best choice. Again, if you're a new or a veteran BexIQ team looking for our help, you can sign up for our free online coaching program through the second link in the description, where you can get direct help from some of the world's best competitors one-on-one. -on -one. We give help on notebook, qualifying, robot designing, and more. But anyways, that's going to be all for today. See you guys next time.